Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews. I'm Richard and today we're going to do the walk around of the options on my 458 Spider. So we left off, uh, we just covered off the steering column and the electric steering column. So that being a, an actual option that you can either delete that as an option if you want, and you can have a manual steering column adjustment or you can have the electric column adjustment. And as I say, we're unsure if you can drop some comments below if you know any different, whether or not that was a cost option or not for the electric steering adjustment. The next options we have on the list, on my options list is horse stitched on headrest. And the option here was Rosso Corsa. I don't have to open the door for this. So here, this is an option to actually have the, um, I think it's called the Cavello. It's st actually stitched here in red. It's red stitching on the actual black leather. You can choose whatever color you want. Yellow would also have looked good, but obviously the car's Rosso Corsa, so red better, better ties in for uniformity. So that is an actual option as well. Again, I would think that that should be a standard option and it, you should be able to delete that option if you want, if you don't want it there, but it shouldn't really have to pay for that, but that's Ferrari for you. iPod connectivity. Now, this car was designed uh, around 2009. I say the first ones were put into production around 2010. So it ran from 20, the production years were 2010 to 2015. So you've got to remember this car was a 2008, 2009 design build. So we're looking at the technology that was around that time, probably the technology that was around a little bit earlier because it would, it would have taken them time to design the car before they actually put it into production. So the iPod connectivity around that time was the old 30 pin socket. They didn't have the actual connectivity that they have now so ipod connectivity means that you get a 30 pin fly out lead in the actual console in, in the glove box console section now what that enables you to do is you can connect an old style ipod and it will actually function and, and stream music from that device um, through the actual 30 pin connection or what is commonly um, managed what or there's various options that you can do as well with with that you can also um, the system has a hard disk we get onto that a little bit later but the system has a hard disk so you can actually copy media onto the actual hard disk and then play it from the actual interface but the interface is terrible on these ferraris uh, so you can connect a bluetooth streaming device which is what most people do to the actual 30 pin connector and you can stream your music to that bluetooth device um, via your ipod or you know any other device that you've got now the, the common item that is used for streaming the music is called a Bovi, but in actual fact there's a more modern version which is more reliable out now and it's called the Air Jewel Inveri. The Air Jewel Inveri as a detail is an upgraded version of the Bovi, so it's more advanced in its firmware, um, therefore the connectivity is more reliable and this actually, um, the Air Jewel In Inveri works very well on this car, whereas the Bovi is hit and miss or has been hit and miss and I did have a Bovi before and I upgraded it to the, uh, to the Inveri version. So that actually works quite well. Now that's just the iPod connectivity, that's not the stereo system, more on that later. So next we have on the list a radio navigation system. Now, um, and radio navigation system is next on the list um, and radio navigation with Bluetooth it says. So in effect, that means that you have a navigation system embedded into the actual, um, into the actual dashboard system and into the screen system. And that navigation system um, will connect to your phone via Bluetooth. So you have a Bluetooth connectivity for your contacts and such like for navigation. It's not actually as good as you think. It doesn't automatically stream up your contacts or it certainly hasn't done when I've tried it to uh, try that uh, functionality anyway. Um, but it provides in effect a sat nav option and it will communicate the commands from the sat nav to your phone via Bluetooth. Now you think logically that that would automatically mean that the Bluetooth connectivity would provide audio music streaming, but unfortunately it doesn't. It, it just, it, I mean, it's crazy, I know, but it, it just provides that Bluetooth connectivity for the sat nav voice commands. So this has, this has the radio navi um, communication system. So I have the, the uh, upgraded radio system on here and the navigation system. Um, next we have, now we have something called internal use. 
Um, this is listed on the options list. Now, if you were being humorous or being cynical, you could say, oh, we have to pay extra um, to Ferrari to allow us to actually get inside our cars. Um, that's a cost option to actually, but you can look at the car, but you can't get in it unless you pay for internal use. Um, so I don't know what internal use is. Again, if, if you guys out there know what internal use is uh, as an option on the options list for the 458, then let me know in the comments below because that will be very useful to know. I suspect it's just something that is that they list as internal use, um, just like on the sticker price. Uh, when they can't fit all the items on the sticker price, they have a, a value and then they say other items. <laughs> um, so they have all the list of the main items and other items. But anyway, I digress. That's, a, that's another section with regards to these stickers on these cars, the original stickers. Next item on the list is NAV track anti theft system. Now, what the NAV track anti theft system is, in effect, they put a GPS tracker system embedded into the chassis of the car. This is Ferrari, and they, it's not known where they actually put this tracker system. It's embedded in the chassis somewhere, and it's apparently it's deeply embedded, so it's very hard to remove. And you have this tracker device, which you have to carry with you everywhere. It's a right pain in the backside. Um, but what it, what it enables you to do is you have to carry this wherever you have the keys, but you should keep them separate when you're not in the car. And if you try and move the car, if you go out in the car, if you switch ignition, or if you do certain things to the car and you haven't got that tracker device with you, then Vodafone, because this is managed by Vodafone, Vodafone call you and they ask you if the car's okay. And if the car actually has been stolen or something nefariously has been performed to the car, then um, Vodafone will deal with that. And I believe they can actually immobilize the car wherever they want. So it's not very good for anybody to try and steal cars with these nav track system because the car can be immobilized and I suspect it can be immobilized uh, when police are near the vehicle so they can in effect immobilize the car right next to where the police are so the police will catch the thieves. So it's, it's very hard to steal these cars when you have a nav track system involved as, as, as long as you pay the subscription on the nav track system of course that's £300 a year at the moment. So this has the nav track system and I do use the nav track system. The, my insurance company insists that I actually use have the nav track system switched on which it is and it's very useful as I said to um, for anti theft device. And the next item is yellow ref counter. Now, you'd think that the actual option of the color for the ref counter will just automatically incorporate it into the carbon driving zone, but it isn't. Uh, the carbon driving zone, um, that option gives you the actual carbon around the, the tachometer, around the ref counter. And as I said, if you've got the actual driving, um, if you've got a carbon racing package, then that incorporates the driving zone anyway. And this, this actual option, the, the yet the actual colored red count red counter that is actually gives you an option to choose out of a few colors for the actual ref counter and those colors are red yellow white and black and this one's chosen with the yellow which actually is a very good choice i'm 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 pleased it's yellow and not red red would also go with a car obviously with it being rosso corsa but i think yellow adds that slight different bit of color and it, it, it aligns with the actual center of the of the um, driver's airbag as well which is quite good with, with the yellow surrounding the horse and of course with the Scuderia badges too, but you can't see the Scuderia badges in line with, with, the, with the actual ref counter. So that's the yellow ref counter. A few more to go yet, so bear with me, please. Uh, so the next item is yellow Ventura in Pello. Um, answers on the postcard what that means. Now, I've looked it up. <laughs> it means, um, it means, it means, it means, it means a leather headliner in black. So when you have the, the roof up, it's a hard top roof obviously on this car. When you have the roof up, the actual headliner is in, le in leather. So it's, um, it's a more advanced. So the actual headliner is in leather and which is obviously a nicer material. One of the options, as an aside, one of the things you've got to be careful of with some of these cars is, um, I think it's more with the Italia, is where the actual roof, the headlining, actually droops down. So you, sometimes you actually re have to re-glue the roof back on again, the actual headlining back on again. Um, no issues with this one. As I say, uh, this has the lever option as well, which is more advanced and, and a nice option to have. Next, we have carbon racing seats. You can have these in various different sizes. Um, I believe it's either small or large or medium and large. I don't think there's three items. I don't think there's three options you can have. And this is the actual large carbon fiber racing seats. And these are very expensive cost option and a very sought after cost option. And one that uh, people often balked at when they actually spec the car. 
as you can see they look really beautiful really really lovely um, cost option unfortunately with these you get no electrification so everything has to be done manually so you have to move the the seat fore and aft manually um, there's no electrification as, a, as an option on this, not even a cost option. If you want to raise the height on the seats, you can only raise the height on the driver's seat. And there's three options there. Um, and you literally change the height by changing the bolt hole option on the seat to elevate it up and down. So you have to get your spanner kit out. You have to get your toolkit out and not the Ferrari toolkit because you don't want to use that, of course, because you might put some wear into it. Heaven forbid. Um, so you have to actually change the settings by actually manually changing the fixations on the actual seat to raise it up and down. This is on the lowest option now for me because I'm quite tall. Next option, high power hi-fi system. In effect, this means a JBL upgrade. So you get the upgraded hi-fi system. Now the hi-fi system in these 458s isn't fantastic. Um, the first nice car I owned was a Boxster S. I owned that brand new and I spec'd a Bose, Bose stereo option because they had the Bose option for that car. And that was in 2002. I spec'd that car, or I actually had the car in 2002. And that, the Bose stereo option was a fantastic upgrade option. So they, they've, so Ferrari teamed with JBL for the upgrade to the uh, stereo system. So you'd think it would be more advanced but actually it's, it's not great <laughs> i'm not that impressed with it and i know a lot of my colleagues who've got 458s aren't that impressed with it so i would have much preferred a bose stereo option um, but obviously i didn't spec this car and at least it has the upgraded stereo system it has the best stereo system that was available at the time as an aside you can actually upgrade the stereos in these cars there are third party manufacturers that will actually upgrade the stereos on these cars um, it's quite an expensive option but they will put some fantastic stereos into these cars it's pretty impressive what you can do but unfortunately as a cost option from the manufacturer not great it is what it is you can't have it all you've got the sound of the of the engine as they say behind you so especially with the uh, with the spider so you've got the engine right behind you who else needs you know what other soundtrack do you need as they say the next item on the list is Elistamenti Speciali. Elistamenti Speciali. Now, if you convert that with good old Google Translate, it means special setups. So in effect, a special custom, in, in effect, a special custom option. Now, I have no specific idea what that actually relates to, but I have a good idea. Um, as a guess, I would say this car has the, the Italian flag, the tricolor flag, customized into the actual center section of the seat down the down the racing seat i've never seen this in any other car um, some people my friends call it the colgate stripe you know i wouldn't expect it if i was doing it but obviously i had no no option i think it you know it can look cool it separates my car out makes it more unique so um but that's what that is um, i'm pretty sure that's what that is because that's a custom option and uh, there's nothing else that it could relate to in the car so almost certainly it would uh, so almost certainly Alistamenti Speciali means that actual center, center tricolor, um, Italian tricolor flag stripe. Now the last option is colored standard stitching. And this is in Rosso Corsa, um, very commonly um, chosen as, as a custom option. And in effect, you choose the stitching for the seats um, throughout the actual, well, it's not just the stitching for the seats, actually, it's the stitching for the seats and for any lever in the car. So you've got the red stitching down here, which has been chosen to match in nicely with the lever carbon fiber racing seats. And also it's on the door cards and also it's on the dash. So it's everywhere, the actual red stitching. And it looks really cool. You've got to be careful the colors you choose for the dash because it can show glare in the actual windscreen and that is awful. Um, some people have made some very poor choices in the specs of their cars live to regret it because it reflects in the actual screen and, and you can't see it um, on the sunny day because like, it just looks flipping awful and you just can't see where you're going. So pretty much that's it. Um, as, just, as I've mentioned before, um, this is a very highly optioned car. I don't know much more, much more options that you could actually choose for this car. It's, um, it's pretty much got it all. Uh, the only thing that it hasn't got is it hasn't got the, what they call the sports exhaust. Now the Ferrari option sports exhaust is just the actual tips is actually the exhaust tips are in a titanium color or they're actually in a, in a black color. Um, I actually do prefer that, so I might change it to this at some point. It's not actually a sports exhaust. It's just the actual changing of the actual end uh, exhaust tips. Um, and because when you, when you use these, uh, they get 
black suited up because they're chrome at the end um, or they're, they're a polished um, aluminium or polished steel. They get uh, soot around them, as you'd expect. This is an exhaust pipe at the end of the day. Uh, the black would hide it a lot more, so I might actually change it to black um, because I think that would suit the car a lot better and you wouldn't you know, see it so much, especially when videoing. <laughs> and other options, well, you could have the canards in carbon fiber may change that in the future because they just unbolt from inside you have to take the bumper off and you can unbolt the canards and you can replace these as carbon fiber options i think that would be quite cool to have the canards in carbon fiber but apart from that to be very honest with you i can't think that there's there's much more that this car could have um, um, i mean you could have if you really wanted to go right over the top you could have the the rear diffuser in carbon fiber but these things always get knocked the rear diffusers always get knocked and get split um, because because of these fin sections on the bottom now this is immaculate this car has never been grounded out it's never been scraped um, it's, it's in immaculate condition underneath and so it's a low mileage car so i'm very fortunate that i managed to get get this in, this particular car a very very special car um, and uh, you could have that in carbon fiber very very expensive in carbon fiber and it's just crazy. I mean, you're just going too far if you, if you optioned that in carbon fiber. Um, I would not expect to, to see that in carbon fiber on many cars, you know, if, if any at all, really, in the UK. Um, be very interesting if we do see some in carbon fiber. But uh, um, but yeah, not in carbon fiber. And there is sections of the car internally of the engine. I'll just show you the engine compartment on this. Of course, this, of course, this car has all been film wrapped. So all this is film wrapped, all bent under, etc. by Reap Midlands. Um, just a little bit of advertising for Reap Midlands again. Fantastic job they've done on, on the actual wrapping of this car, on the PPF protection of this car. They've lit the wrapping right over inside um, so the edges don't, don't come up on the wrapping. It's just a fantastic job they've done, but that's, that's uh, an aside. Again, Reap Midlands, Pete George. Speak to Pete George at Reap Midlands. Can't recommend them enough. Actually, fantastic guy to liaise with, really knows his stuff. Um, get in touch with him you know if you want to do any ppf options on your car i live in wiltshire i had to trailer my car to leicester i was willing to do that rather than go anywhere else because um because peach was, was fantastic and uh, was was the guy to do this work i'm very fastidious and he did a fantastic job on his car and just as you'll see from the video you're looking at now so this is the internal um, engine compartment of the car you could have these sections in carbon fiber the sides, the side thin sections, um, you can have them in carbon fiber and you can have the airbox in carbon fiber as well. Um, it's not very common for that to be spec'd on the Spider version. Why? Well, because it didn't have a display, it didn't have a display screen to actually see the engine. And the reason it didn't have a display screen um, standard is because you can't really see much of the engine. You can only see the actual um, ends of the plenums. Um, they look beautiful still if you look at the engine at the engine the engine looks fantastic it's beautiful nice and clean immaculate um, but you can't see all the engine therefore very few people excuse me therefore very few people spec the air boxes and these side covers in carbon fiber i suspect i mean i believe these these air boxes are very very expensive um, if you want to actually install them um, afterwards although there is Interesting enough, there is a dipping option that you can go for, which I believe is around one and a half grand, something like that, maybe a bit more. And what they do is they actually take these parts off the car and they dip them in a substance that in effect gives like a carbon fiber coating on the car. And pretty much you can't tell the difference. Um, so that's an option now, rather than spending thousands having the actual, um, the, the air, the air box replaced and the and this side and these side panels replaced you can actually get them dipped and so there's a company that will take these off and will dip them for you or you take them off and send them to the company we'll dip them for you and you cannot tell the difference they look like they're solid carbon fiber but they're not they're they're carbon fiber dipped and just as an option that the person who or one of the people and the owners that own this car i think there was um two owners before me two or three owners before me um they put this tricolor flag on there as well which is a very common option. Interestingly enough, I think if Ferrari do that for you, it's about 600 pounds. If you do it yourself, you can get exactly the same part off eBay for about 100 pounds and it's just stickered on. Why would you pay 600 pounds? Ferrari tags. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm sure you'll agree that this, um, my 458 is very highly optioned. It's a beautiful car. Um, if you're gonna have a, your first Ferrari, then pretty much you always gotta have it in red. 
absolutely adore the car. It's a fantastic car. I still miss my 993S. Um, but you can't have it all, you know. Um, I didn't want to go through life without experience in having a Ferrari and it's my son's favourite car as well. Jacob's favourite car, lad behind the camera now. So uh, I'm sure you'll agree the car looks absolutely stunning and in my opinion those options were very well spent and I was very fortunate to, to pick up this car with those options. Uh, it's, it's like a, about the, the dream option car I could possibly get. There's nothing on there. Um, nothing additional that I would have spec'd additional if I was specking the car myself. The only change I would make is I wouldn't have spec'd the tricolour down the centre of the seats. I would, well, I don't know what I would have gone for really. Maybe just left it plain or I might have gone for red or even yellow just to put a, a real contrast there with, with the with the um, Rosso Corsa uh, body colour and the actual Nero interior. So I probably could have, would have gone with yellow. I think that would have looked really cool. And that would have tied in with the yellow ref counter and the, the, the Scuderia shields and the driver's airbag, the centre airbag section, which is obviously has the Cavello, Cave, the Cavello, Cavello, Cavello the, the, which has the Ferrari horse um, with the yellow background. So. I think the yellow stripe down the centre of the seats is about the only option that I would have changed if, I could, if I'd spec this car myself. I wouldn't have changed anything else. The canards, yeah, it's, you can put them on afterwards. It's quite an easy change to make afterwards. And for what it is, it's quite a heavy option. You know, you spend a lot of money on these cars. You know, you have to get to a, a, you have to get to a breakaway point where you say, okay, that's enough. Um, and if you're gonna sell the car again, if you're gonna sell the car on again in the future, then, you know you, you don't want to go too heavily over the top you're never going to get the money back for the options what it does is generally it makes the car easier to sell it doesn't give you more money necessarily for those options it just means that your car will come higher in the list of different against other cars against other comparable cars with the better options on there it will come higher in the list for other people to choose your car over other people so that's generally what the options give you unless you have a really poor options list and then it can be a bit of a nightmare to sell pretty much if i was going to say the priority options to get on specification for a 458 if you're looking to buy one for resale to actually resell in the future at some point. Um, lift is always one that people is a nice to have. You don't need it on a 458. As you can see, the car is high enough anyway. I use it because I've got it um, around certain speed bumps. If I'm unsure, then I put lift on because it covers me, you know. But if I didn't have it, you know, it, it's no bliss or blage because these cars are high enough anyway. Um, essential, I would say, is carbon fiber racing seats. That's an essential requirement for these. It really helps to sell these cars. And, and I've, they're really, really comfortable as well. Um, it's, just, it's just what people want. They want the carbon fiber racing seats. I was very lucky that this has got the carbon fiber racing seats. The carbon fiber inside the car, say this has got the racing package, which pretty much gives you everything but you need minimum carbon fiber driving zone minimum you need the carbon fiber driving zone um, the rest of the dashes are nice to have um, and say this you know the rest of this car has got many other options on it as well um, which uh, aren't essential requirements but i'd say those are the those are the minimum requirements 20 inch forged wheels as well i would say those those are a good the and scuddy rear badges of course you know but that's a given anybody would choose scuddy rear badges so that's the end of part two and the end of the options list video for for our 458 Spider. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a very heavily optioned car um, and it's almost like the dream spec you could have on the, on the car. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If, um, if you like the video, please make sure you click like and give it a thumbs up. Um, very important for the good old YouTube algorithm. Um, please make sure you subscribed if you're not subscribed already and tell your friends all about, tell your friends all about Rich Reviews and the great content that we're delivering and um, some great video content to come. We've got three or four videos already in the pipeline that are already, already recorded and they'll be dropping in subsequent, on subsequent drop days on Friday at 6 p.m. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.